Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 904, we're going to talk about Rocco, the cabaret caterer. I'll admit I woke up and chose evil this morning. So, for X, red, green, and white, we had a 3 1 elf druid. When Rocco enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you may search your library for a creature card with mana value X or less and put it onto the battlefield. So, this is a creature tutor straight into play. Now, uh, with the colors, you could argue that you could go druids, you could go elves, you could do anything. Rocco just wants creatures, right? The, that's that's what I, I'm getting. And I, I guess there's a theory there that you could tutor up a crater hoof or tutor up the one creature that you really need. It's not where I went. Because I saw Rocco and I went, huh. So if I could tutor out any creature in my deck, what creature would I, you know, and all, all, all the creatures in these three colors in the history, I was like, huh, what creature would I go and get? And I come upon Mana West Sliver. Yes, this is Slivers. Um... Three color slivers, I don't think I have done this particular combination. Uh, so, you know, there's also gem hide. But we'll finish out the uh, the color fixing here. You know, far seek, search for tomorrow, rapid growth, font of fertility, the Selesnia and Gruel signets, the Boro signet. A little bit of card draw, not a whole lot. You know, Shamanic Revelation is, is a just a big shot card draw and then a you know slower life crafters bestiary to get it every time you you know draw, uh, play a creature or cast a creature rather and i mean we have had some pretty decent slivers um homing sliver is another one that i would probably yeah that's probably what i would go get with rocco now that i think about it uh just simply because you can find all your slivers. You can find not just one, but you, if you use Rocco to get the homing, you can sliver cycle to find whatever sliver you need at that specific time. And we've got slivers that fit all the slots, removal and draw and, you know, plus the pump ones. You know what I'm talking about. The muscle sliver, sinew sliver, predatory, might. Venom, Death Touch is pretty good. And there's, you know, multiple that gives trample, so ugh, that's awesome. A thorn caster. Now this one, uh, sliver creatures you control have whenever this creature attacks. It deals one damage to target creature or player. This is a Hell Rider. I mean, it's Hell Rider. Yeah. Uh, so let's look through the rest of these slivers, shall we? This is, I mean, it, it's going to be fairly quick. I am not going to say the word sliver every time. Because <laughs> it's all in the name. Steel form with the toughness. Cardery. Blur. Now they have haste. Virulent. Uh, yeah, poisonous one is, is pretty, uh, yeah. I figure... Um, are we ever going to get an infect sliver? I mean, it probably doesn't need to happen, and it'll probably be black when it does, but, mm, man. Uh, battering sliver, trample, harmonic sliver donated by Mr. Chris. Thank you very much. Check him out over on Ghoul Dude. Uh, but, I mean, when this creature comes into play, destroy target artifact or enchantment, that's a good chunk of our, our removal there because we've got some serious, all, all those are slivers, uh, <laughs> in addition to the ones you've already seen. Poltress, Fury's going to give them double strike. Uh, Ground Shaker does trample it as well. Spine. Do you know some of these slivers, as I was listing the deck on Architect, some of these I've never used before and all the other sliver decks I, I have built haven't used now. I think Spine's one of them. Heart sliver, haste. Reflex giving haste. Because, you know, why not? Uh, two headed. Barbed. Bone splitter. I like how they kept that because the bone splitter axe gives. Or, or, or bone splitter is an equipment that gives plus two to. And, yeah, that's. 
I like when they mesh flavor like that. Spinneret uh, for Reach. Fire Wake. A lot of these are sliver bodies. I mean, that's... And yeah, Coat of Arms would be uh, uh, awesome. If, if you've got Coat of Arms, run it, run it. Uh, or, or even, I mean, we're in white, so the the enchantment, plus one counter enchantment. We've got Sentinel Sliver, Victual, Pulmonic, Battle Sliver, another version of the Bone Splitter. Striking. Now, I like these uh, uh, one mana ones, you know, especially the ones that say you control. Quilled, Talon, Watcher, Sidewinder, because everybody loves flanking, right? Uh, armor. Then we've got the, uh, uh, like, Hive Stirrings, you know, I mean, it, it puts two tokens into play. Um, they don't really contribute to the hive, but they do get all the benefits from the hive. Kind of like the metallic sliver, sliver construct, vincer sliver, and then the other colorless one is the sliver smith to, you know, pretty much turn any unwanted land that you've got into a sliver. Now, we do have, uh, I'll admit I sat down and I played a mana rock and a, a, a land fetch, and I I didn't give away the deck until I actually played Rocco because I knew there's a certain stigma that comes at your table once you reveal your playing slivers, and I wanted to play the deck before I recorded it so that <laughs> my local play group wouldn't know what it was. And yeah, I think just the fact that oh he's playing slivers, that's yeah. Anyway. Um, I've got a fog and a holy day because some, I mean, they're coming at you. Sometimes you need it until you get some kind of big defense up. Um, but to pump your team, you know, the overrun Beastmaster's Ascension. Uh, I kind of like this Vivian Stampede, you know, you, your creature, each creature you control gains vigilance, trample, and melee. At the beginning of the next main phase, draw a card for each player who was dealt combat damage this turn. So. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not bad for six mana. I have a little bit of removal. Like I said, the slivers is the main part of the removal. You know, return to nature, disenchant, condemn, demystify, and settle the wreckage. Now, settle the wreckage is technically a removal spell, but I am telling you, I have used this in mono white decks to ramp. If I have had some tokens and I know that um, my tokens don't really stand a chance against whatever my opponent has and they, it just needs to go, yeah, you know the board wipe's coming and you're like, eh, I've got these little 5 one ones, and I have ramped up my lands and, and destroyed all the things. So just uh, settle the wreckage can be offense or defense. I love cards like that that aren't obviously both. So we're going to go to our non-basic lands. I, I was tempted. I did use some of the, uh, uh, the foil deck sliver from way back, you know, the rupture spire, vivid grove, grape out refuge, Naya panorama, cabaretty courtyard, by the way, these are really good for landfall decks. Uh, Celestia Guildgate, Racer's Ring, Jetmere's Garden. I mean, it's it's a it's a forest. It's also a mountain of plains for your far seek. It's beautiful. Um, Terramorphic Expanse, Needle Spires, Command Tower, Thornglint Bridge, Temple of Triumph. Stone Quarry, Evolving Wilds, Jungle Shrine, and lastly, the Slagwoods Bridge. And that is Rocco. I know I may be the only person out there that, uh, that did slivers with it. I thought hard about elves. I'm not going to lie. Of course, I'm me, so I always think hard about slivers. Got our two sliver tokens. So, I love that. Love that gilded. Anyway, 
so we're gonna go put Rocco over here on the wall. That's right, EDH wreck. Love those guys. So 904 is done. We will put 904 on the wall. And that got my Batman jammies on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. And we're gonna go ahead and shovel and cut. <laughs>